Hello YouTubers, this is Average Joe Video and today we are going to take a look at the features of Lamar's mini dump trailer. So the first thing I want to mention to you is this particular trailer is a 2020 model. I purchased it last June and with COVID I just didn't get around to all the projects that I thought I would but I'm hoping moving forward that I get more use out of it. This is a homeowner model of dump but I think you're going to see in a moment that this is very, very overbuilt for a homeowner model trailer. Most manufacturers have a homeowner or a light duty use model. Lamar does not actually call this a homeowner model. It's called a mini dump and you're going to see even though it is mini, its capabilities are everything but. So let's go ahead and take a look at the features. I'm going to go over the specifications and then you can see for yourself why Lamar builds what I believe is the best homeowner dump on the market. So the first thing I want to mention to you is, as you can see, this is a tandem axle trailer. All right. It has 15 inch tires on it. It has two 3,500 pound axles. So the gross vehicle weight rating of this particular model is 7,000 pounds. One thing to keep in mind is you want to get a trailer that is within the capacity of the tow vehicle. In my case, I'm towing this with a Toyota Tundra. And that's a completely separate video. The Tundra does a great job towing. And the thing about it is the Tundra is only a half ton truck. So I didn't want to get a dump trailer that's too big because I certainly don't want to go over my weight capacities. That's a problem with the DOT. You don't want to do that. So I decided I'm just going to go with the 7,000 pound model, everything is certainly within the limits and then that way I don't have to worry about any technicalities uh, and I know that I'm going to stay within the towing capacity of my vehicle. This particular dump trailer has a 5x10 bed with the barn style doors at the rear. In addition to the barn style doors, this particular trailer is equipped with a spare tire as well as a tarp kit. So let's talk about the tarp kit here for a moment. So the tarp kit is a great feature because the tarp kit is very easy to deploy. All you do is you simply release the tension with this lever. You can actually pull the crank down whenever it's time to crank it back. And then you can use the sail bar to actually take this tarp to the end of the trailer. And if you take a look at the end of the trailer, you can see that the tarp actually has welded hooks that are going to hold it back. So it's very easy then that we can crank it back and tension it. So there we have the tarp deployed on the dump trailer. Now, one thing to keep in mind is, is that depending on the size of the load, obviously, there is extra tarp here. I mean, obviously your load is not going to be flat in the bed. But what I like about this tarp kit is it's integrated right into the frame. The way it's designed from Lamar makes it very seamless. So even though the barn doors may seem to be quite basic, if you look at other manufacturers, you will notice that they all have various fastening systems to hold the doors back. Obviously, if you don't hold the doors back, then whenever you go to dump, you're going to bend the door. You have to be very careful of that. But let me show you what's unique about the, the Lamar trailer. So when you bring the door back, all you have to do is simply lift this welded on D-ring and you can hook that onto the bracket that is welded to the door and instantly the door is held back. You don't have to worry about chains. You don't have to worry about hooking different things. All you're doing is hooking that one connection there, which is super simple. Uh, it's super easy to do even if you have gloves on. Uh, whereas with the chains, you're always fumbling around trying to get things to latch. So that is one feature about this trailer that I thought is it's well designed for sure. Okay, the next feature which we don't want to forget about is the two built-in ramps that you can use. So you can haul equipment up here. Obviously, you want to keep in mind that this is only a five foot wide bed. So you're not going to be hauling anything with a sizable mower deck, uh, but certainly you do have that capability. Notice the retention system for the ramps. Once again, on a lot of models, you don't have that kind of a retention system. Instead, you have a simple pin back there. And you'll see people complain, well, the pin's not lined up. The weld's not right for the pin, so it doesn't hold the ramp correctly. And I should also mention that these ramps are for sure overbuilt. I mean, this is very... Um, 
very heavy gauge steel that's used on these ramps. So if you're thinking about one of these for hauling equipment, you're not going to have a problem as long as you physically can fit it into the bed and obviously it's within the weight capacities. Okay, and one final thing here while we're at the back of the trailer, um, don't forget about LED lights. I mean, at this point, if you're buying a brand new trailer, you should be purchasing a trailer with LED lights uh, because essentially, if you're buying the older style, I don't know if that means that you are just not aware of it, you live under a rock or what, but basically at this point, LED lights are essentially the industry standard. So make sure you're getting LED lights and this Lamar trailer is outfitted with LEDs the whole way around. Okay, the next thing I wanna talk about is the floor. So this dump trailer has a 10 gauge floor. Most homeowner dumps do not have a 10 gauge floor. So that's something I thought right away uh, was a bonus in terms of how heavily built this was. And then let's talk about the other parts of the construction as well. So inside you're gonna notice that it does include four D rings and in the back, the D rings are actually up off the bed, which makes sense because you're gonna have material slotting along the floor. A lot of manufacturers will put those D rings on the floor at all four anchor points. The only place they are on the floor is actually at the front of the trailer, but naturally you're not gonna have to worry because that's gonna be the highest point whenever you are dumping. So the material that's located up at the front is gonna easily slide over those. But I thought that was a very nice finishing touch touch that Lamar actually has the D-rings up off the floor the way that they do. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about and I want to mention is the diamond plate fenders. So these fenders are double broke, they are strong, uh, and you can see that Lamar has also welded a step here on the rear as well as on the front side of the fender. So if you need to get into the dump for some reason, it's very simple to simply step up on there. It will hold your weight without a problem. Another feature of Lamar's fenders is the center reinforcement. So you can be assured these fenders, they're not going anywhere at this point. Okay, the next thing I wanna talk about with the dump is the rigid rails. So, I mean, as you can see, it's decaled on there. Uh, Lamar is very proud of that particular feature. This particular rail is formed within the sidewall of the bed. So you can see that that's formed in there, which is gonna make that very strong. Uh, that's gonna hold up to the abuse of a tractor bucket, a skid steer bucket, and just general use on the side. Okay, you'll also notice that it does have uh, the stake pockets on the sides. So you could put wood sides on there if you wanted to. I know that some of the newer Lamar trailers actually have side kits available, but it's very easy if you want to extend it just to hold more volume. Maybe you're someone that is doing landscaping and you have a lot of brush and clippings, uh, then that would be something that would make it a little bit more user friendly. I never explored any side options because I wanna make sure that my Kubota BX is able to load the bed of this trailer easily. So I never worried about extending the sides at all. This particular trailer has 15 inch tires. Uh, the spare tire bracket is included on every trailer. I optioned for the spare tire just because I thought, thought that it would be much easier to just pick up the spare while I was getting the trailer. That way I wouldn't have to be concerned about finding that particular wheel pattern later. Uh, I know it sounds crazy, but I just wanted everything to match. So that way everything looks uniform. Okay, this trailer has a Demco two inch easy latch coupler. Now, if you aren't familiar with the Demco Easy Latch Couplers, they are great. You don't have to worry about actually opening this lever before you hook it to your vehicle. So as long as you back under this and you lower the crank, it'll automatically latch on. Obviously, it does not release from the vehicle until you pull this lever up. So hence the term Easy Latch. It is very easy to hook up a trailer with a Demco Easy Latch Coupler. In addition to the easy latch coupler, you can see that Lamar also has an adjustable coupler system. So depending on the height of your tow vehicle, that can be set up properly. It's not an issue. The other thing I wanna mention is the cold weather rated wiring harness. So this is your standard seven pin. Um, this is rated for below zero, so it's gonna stay nice and flexible. 
Okay, so the next thing I want to mention is the 12,000 pound rated drop leg jack. Uh, if you're not already familiar, the drop leg jack allows you to essentially lower a portion of the jack by releasing that pin and that's keeping you from cranking that entire distance because obviously the revolutions of the crank are not resulting in a drastic change of height. So that's what makes that very convenient and the jack is overrated for the application. Once again, I would rather have it be overrated than underrated. Okay, the next thing I wanna talk about is the box on the front that contains the hydraulic pump as well as the battery. So the first thing I wanna highlight is this particular box does not have a prop. It actually has a gas strut. So the gas strut is what's raising the box up and keeping it there, which is very convenient because you don't have to worry about it uh, flipping the whole way back, which some dump trailers uh, do that. And then as you can see, this is where the KTI hydraulic pump is contained, as well as the included marine battery. Now, I do want to point out that this particular unit has a onboard battery charger, and this is from Lamar. Okay, they're not optioning that on there. That is a standard item. So you want to keep in mind, again, when you're looking at all these trailers, the fact that you have an onboard charger makes it really convenient because you can simply plug the cord into the outside and your battery will be maintained. So that's an add-on. You could certainly add that to any trailer, but it's nice to have that already from the factory. One other thing you'll notice is that Lamar includes a battery box for the marine battery. And I think that's a nice added touch. Uh, it just keeps everything very clean in there. Uh, it makes things very simple. You don't have to worry about, for whatever reason, um, crossing the terminals of the battery because they're contained within that box. It's not necessary, but they do it. It's a matter of quality and finish. And that's, I believe, what Lamar's goal is. Um, you'll also notice that this box is locking, so it does have a key along with it. So you can actually lock it just to keep people from stealing, essentially, your marine battery because we all know they are not cheap. Okay, so at this point, let's go ahead and we're gonna raise the bed and you're gonna see, again, the features and the quality and how overbuilt a Lamar trailer really is. The first thing I want to mention is the three and a half inch cylinder. Typically you do not see a three and a half inch cylinder on dumps of this size. Uh, if you take a look at the way the bed is formed, this bed actually has its own subframe. So normally you don't see that. You actually see the side wall of the bed wraps around and then you have the floor. And again, I'm sorry, I don't know the technical terms because I'm not an expert with welding and with steel, but I can definitely tell that this is overbuilt just from what we have here. Uh, the frame is also overbuilt. Um, you can just see there's a lot of reinforcements. I mean, Lamar even takes the time to put these actual stops right here uh, just to keep the bed from torsioning one way or the other whenever it's sitting on the framing you're driving down the highway. Um, you can also see there is a safety prop included. So if you take a look, this is where the safety prop actually essentially props into because it is in fact a prop. You're not pinning it to anything. You're simply picking it up and you're placing it into that pocket. And then that way you can work on the trailer safely. Uh, and then once again, I just want to mention the quality and the detail of just everything on this trailer. I'm very impressed with it. I also want to point out that this particular trailer has easy lube hubs, which makes greasing the bearings very simple. Most trailers nowadays have that feature, but I don't want to overlook that either. Okay, so that is my review of the features of the Lamar Mini Dump, and that is why I chose the Lamar Mini Dump over all of the competitive brands. The value for the money is definitely there. 
Uh, the spare tire is an option. The tarp kit is an option. Uh, the drop leg 12,000 pound rated jack is an option. But for the little bit of extra money, I believe it was around the $200 mark at the time of purchase, I felt that those upgrades were certainly worth it. Uh, the big thing to keep in mind is, is that every brand's gonna have pluses or minuses. In my mind, I always look for the brand that has the most pluses for the money. And I think Lamar has done a great job with that. So once again, I'm not a paid reviewer. This is just my honest opinion to help all you YouTubers out that are looking for a dump trailer. I highly recommend you check out Lamar. And when I'm in the market someday for a tandem axle trailer for my Kubota, I'm definitely gonna be checking the Lamar brand. So if you like this video, be sure to click like and be sure to subscribe to the channel. I hope to bring you more videos in the near future.